As Americans become more and more aware of what they're eating and where it comes from, many are seeking out alternative food sources like this farmer's market in Columbus, Ohio, where they can purchase meat and produce direct from local providers. Others are taking it one step further. A recent study by the National Gardening Association revealed that 43 million families started growing their own food in home gardens in 2009 alone. But what if I told you about two radical innovators whose ideas have led some to call them culinary madmen? Morgan Frank and Bucky Miller described themselves as nutritional entrepreneurs. How did you become interested in the way America eats? I am an American and I eat, so it was something that personally I had a connection to. That, that was my uh, way in. Ever since I was a small child, I've had this addiction to food. Mm -hmm. And I was proud that I finally was able to talk about it. In your opinion, should humans have a diet that includes meat? Clearly there are some people who are turned off by the idea of eating meat. No. There are, no, there are some. No. There are some people who don't want to eat no. meat because they, they, it's like an animal and it's being hurt or killed, depending on how it's prepared. Let's think of a different source for our meat. I was inspired by the starfish. If you cut off a starfish's arm, it grows another arm. It regenerates another arm in its place. Why couldn't we do that with humans? Just like a starfish loses its arm and then regenerates a new one, humans will grow an additional appendage which will then be harvested for food. Later, another arm will grow in its place, creating a self-sustaining food, food cycle. System. Cycle system. system. There's also this option of growing the extra arm with or without the bone. Mm -hmm. With bone, traditional. Or without, which is, it's easier to eat, but the downside is it's less useful during the cultivation period. I'd be lying if I didn't say I had some concern about cultivating the desire for human flesh, but I trust the American people to know the difference between a self-cultivated limb for eating and a naturally grown one. Since this technology involves regenerating limbs, would it be possible that it could benefit amputees? Um, I mean, we could. I ha we haven't really talked about that. It I mean, seems sort of like a waste of food. Morgan, in your book, What's Eating You, colon, You, you describe a world that's very different from our own. Give us an example. My dream for a mother to say to her child, eat your vegetables, and the child has no idea what she's talking about. There are many possible negative repercussions, but I choose not to see them. If you want to live longer and be miserable, then you should read my book. As you know, the meat production industry contributes more to global warming than the entire transportation sector. How do you see you work from an environmental standpoint? Next question. What is the message that you'd like our viewers to come away with tonight? The limb you eat is, uh, the limb you, no, this is good, he wrote it in the car. The limb you eat is a tasty treat. So let's all grow our homemade meat. Many believe this dream of edible appendages that regenerate at will is just that, a dream and the team of Frank and Miller have little evidence to dissuade skeptics. In fact, the only thing they could show me was this plant. What's interesting about this plant in particular is that using our technology... We made this. Yes, this plant's limb was regenerated through our means. I can take this off and another one will grow. Right. All we have to do now is port that over to humans. I think of actually this leaf. The interview you just watched took place six weeks ago. Since that time, Morgan and Bucky have made some drastic strides forward. We've been successful and unsuccessful. Of course there are going to be certain setbacks along the way. When you're doing work this radical, it would be unrealistic for there not to be. It doesn't mean that it's not worth doing. It doesn't mean that we're not going to get there. That's better than what happened to me. Win some, lose some.
You're doing that all wrong. Huh? Yeah, thingamajigs there. They're off center. I have done this before, you know. It's called precision, Julius. It's called mind your own business, Serge. Come on, guys. Don't start this again. I'm just saying. Can I borrow your pliers? What happened to yours? Never mind. Tosh, can I borrow your pliers? Here you go. Thanks, Tosh. Well, fine then. I was gonna loan you my pair, but since you want to be such a grouch about it... Grouch? Me? Where do you get off? You know what your problem is? Uh, I can think of a big one right now. You don't know how to take criticism. Unbelievable! Guys, please. What's going on? Sorry, we're working. We'll be good. Since you have so much extra time on your hands to stand around talking, it looks like I'll just have to increase your quota. Let's see how well you get along while assembling 10 extra blue material per but hour. We were just. You want to make it an extra 15? No! no. Get back to work. <laughs> Lunch! If I have to look at another one of these blue material things, I'm gonna go on a killing spree. Tell me about it. What are these things anyway? What do they go to? Who knows? We line workers are seldom privileged to know such informative, uh, information. You know, I don't know either. Gosh, guess I never really thought about it before. Maybe it's a toy. Maybe it's a sex toy. Yeah. Or maybe it's a weapon of mass destruction. <gasps> what if it is? We never even stop to ask ourselves what kind of company Powerhouse Incorporated really is. The foreman was so vague when he hired me. He just said... Sector C, blue material, here's your hard hat, and don't get your limbs talked off by acting stupid. I feel like an irresponsible dope for not asking what we're actually building. Heck, I was just happy to have a job. But now I... I just gotta know. Is my work contributing to some greater good? Or am I harming the world without even knowing it? Oh, please. Look around you. We're surrounded by people who are just doing their jobs without asking any questions. Oh, please. Who cares? We work. We go home. And at the end of every week, we get paid. Whatever blue material is at the end of the day is blue material's business as far as I'm concerned. How can you say that? I vote we find out right now what Powerhouse Inc. is really up to. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna walk right up to the foreman and ask him myself. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, foreman! <laughs> What now, Sector C? This had better be good. What are we doing here? I don't understand. I mean, what are we making? Uh, blue material? But what is blue material? Blue material is what you are making. I mean, what does it go with? Blue material goes with red material and gray material. But what are they? What do they go with? Yeah, is there like a finished product? Can we see it? I haven't got time for this. I've had about enough crap from you three today. The next time I have to come down here, it better be real important. Machine malfunction, impending death, sexual harassment. Understand? I want you, Sector C. Get back to work. Well, that was enlightening. But hey, look where he's going. Of course, the restricted area. Why didn't I think of that before? We would definitely find some answers there. All we have to do is get past security. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be hard. It's just a passcode entry. Julius can hack into those real easy. I've seen him do it to the vending machine before. No. No, no, no. 
No one's going past the restricted area. Are you nuts? Tell you what, if you do that hacky computer thing, I'll go through and check out what's behind the door. A normal day at work. That's all I ask. Fine. But if anything happens, I'm telling the foreman you threatened me. Yeah! wants to keep us in the dark. I wish I were still in the dark. Military weapons? Really? Really? Well, what are we gonna do? I don't believe in violence. Well, I'm not violent either. I hate this stupid, endless war we're in. I don't want to work for a company that makes guns. It feels wrong and icky. We have to quit. Think about it, though. If we quit, there are a dozen other goons out there ready to come in and take our jobs. The only thing we'd accomplish is our own unemployment. We have to think bigger. Down with the corporation. Spread peace to mankind. Let's bomb the place. Not bomb, break. See? Come on, guys, help me out with this thing. I can't lift it by myself. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, I guess this is the end. You know, I've always... Me too. Julius! Lord knows I oh. cannot change. Oh. Oh. No, no, oh. I cannot change. Oh. Oh. I think someone's coming. What in blazes is going on here? Is that goop in the machine? We're not going to be pawns for evil and destruction anymore. That's right. We know all about the corporate cover-up. And this company's part in the downfall of freedom and democracy as we know it. We saw weapons being made here at the factory. Why didn't you tell us when you hired us we were making guns? Guns? This factory doesn't have, has never had, and will never have guns. Our security guards don't even carry base for crying out loud. It hasn't? They don't? Liar! But I saw! You will find here when you look with your eyes. <sighs> These aren't weapons at all! Of course not! Observe!
don't suppose we could just say we're sorry, huh? Sure you can. We could help mm -hmm. fix the machine. And help pay yeah. for the damages. Of course, of course. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> I thought you were going to fire us. Oh, you're all three fired. That goes without saying. Yep. <laughs> so what now? We'll have to survive on our wits and intelligence. Yeah, I'm sure we'll think of something. Hey, want to go back to my place and get a pizza? Sure. Hey, Serge, you coming? Oh, all right. So, what's up with Powerhouse making toys that start out looking like guns and stuff? Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, that's totally whack. Where's your reference section? Third floor. Thanks.
Can you help me? It would be right over there. I can help you. No, I got your note. I can... <clears throat> Who's that? I don't know. Security? We have an emergency in the library. I'll save you. Yes, an assailant. Please come right away.